Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many Android developers encounter when working with TensorFlow. Our viewer is curious about how to read a memory map graph in Android using TensorFlow. After two days of searching, our viewer found limited resources, mainly a Stack Overflow post. They've successfully built TensorFlow for Android and integrated detection functionality, but they're hitting a roadblock with memory mapped graphs. Despite following the official TensorFlow Android examples and using commands to optimize their graphs, they're encountering a runtime error when trying to load the memory mapped graph. They are reaching out for guidance on how to resolve this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Go on. To read a memory mapped graph in Android using TensorFlow, we first need to ensure that we have the correct setup. Make sure you have built TensorFlow for Android successfully. Next, integrate the detection functionality into your project. You can use the classifier activity to load and read your custom graph files. When working with memory mapped graphs, it's important to note that the loading process differs from standard graph files. Ensure you are using the correct method to load the memory mapped graph. If you encounter errors like failed to load model, verify the file path and ensure that the memory mapped graph is correctly formatted. Remember, it is not a plain GraphDef protobuf. Lastly, refer to resources like Pete Warden's blog for additional insights on loading memory mapped graphs on mobile devices. This can provide valuable context and examples. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Currently, memory mapped graph handling is not supported on Android, as confirmed by various sources. However, there may be a workaround by modifying the JNI part of TensorFlow. To implement this workaround, you would need to make changes to specific files in the TensorFlow repository, including tensorjni.cc and graphjni.cc. Additionally, updates are required in the Java files, such as tensor.java and native library.java to support these changes. The user plans to update their findings if they succeed with this approach and appreciates the community's support in their search for a solution. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Currently, loading a memory mapped graph in Android using TensorFlow is not supported. The method causing the crash is load graph. There's a note in the code indicating that this feature is planned for future implementation. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped find that resolution you're looking for and you found the answer. 
guys, please hit subscribe if it helped and I'd really appreciate it. I'll see you next time on another one of these technical videos. Have a good one.